An officer who resigned from Greater Manchester Police over its handling of sex abuse cases in Rochdale has told the BBC the victims were let down by the police. Margaret Oliver says the force failed to prosecute some of the men identified by the victims. Tonight, the Chief Constable of Greater Manchester Police has conceded that there are up to 30 suspects who have still not been charged. Chris Buckler has more. Abuse was uncovered by the police in Rochdale, but it took years for any case to reach court. And while nine men would eventually be convicted, a former officer has revealed that they weren't the only abusers identified by the girls sexually exploited in this town. I'm only a constable, but I'm saying that the way we dealt with this family on this case is disgusting. Margaret Oliver helped gather evidence from the victims, but she resigned from Greater Manchester Police after one of the girls abused was not allowed to give evidence. And she says that meant that some men were simply not prosecuted. Men are still walking around the streets of Rochdale that these girls named as offenders as having abused them. They told me last week that they are still meeting men in Rochdale Town Centre that they have named as abusers, that they have identified as offenders. It's thought the girl wasn't used as a witness in court during last year's trial because there were concerns that a jury might not view her as a credible witness. We have to, sadly in these cases, make sure that the victim uh, will be able to uh, essentially be believed in the court process. So that, that, that does indicate you don't believe that this girl would have been believed then? Well, no, that's not a judgment for me. I'm saying, making the general point that that is the situation that we deal with. The police accept that there are men thought to have been involved in sexual exploitation here who have never been charged. There are as many as 20 or 30 suspects. And the girl who never got a chance to face her abusers in court believes more could have been done by the police and prosecutors. I would have liked to go to court to see him get sent down. I just feel like I've been failed by him because there's still some people out there that have not even arrested yet and I've tried to explain that to the police officer but they just don't listen. The CPS says this was a large and complex case involving up to 40 young women and that they had to focus on a smaller number of victims. But some in authority feel the whole system needs to change. We perhaps need special courts. We need to try and see if there is a different way that we can test the evidence in these cases. There is enormous pressure on the victim and the personal testimony that they, they, that they have to give. Amid concerns that some abuse victims might not be believed because of their backgrounds, the Director of Public Prosecutions has issued new guidelines. He's warned hundreds of cases could be reopened, and with each new trial, the justice system will be tested. Chris Buckler, BBC News, Watchdale. And you can hear more on that story on File on 4, that's on BBC Radio 4 at 8 o'clock.